Hey everyone, it's April and Brendan today for Technique Tuesday and we are here at the top of the summit of Haleakala. So there... 10,023 feet. Yes, so there are the observatories. So cool. And then if we do a quick walkabout, we're about to see the sunset. And then over the side over here is the crater. Yeah. Ain't that cool? So now that we've showed you everything up here, check out the video. So here we have some flower pieces cut from our Artiste Cricut collection. You can still purchase the Artiste collection. Um, if you go to my website, adelveobizer.closetomyheart.com, uh, when you're on my website, it'll say Adele Veo Beiser at the top. And then you could just scroll down to the bottom of the page and then see this little cricket icon. You just have to click on that and automatically close to my heart comes up. If you have an account with um, Cricut, you can then sign in. You could just hit the little person and, and sign in as normal. Or if you just... If you don't and you just want to purchase, you could just hit the search bar and type in, whoops, Artiste. And you see here the digital image set close to my heart, Artiste shows up. And it's as simple as that. So today what I'm going to show you is how a very easy way to put these together. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to ink them up just to make give them a little um, make them a little fancier when, after we put them together. So I am using whoops, I'm using my I'm using my Bluebell ink uh, which will be retiring at the end of August so if you haven't gotten Bluebell yet and you you like the color, I suggest you, you go on and you purchase it before it's gone because it was the color, it is the color of the year right now. And once it retires, it will not be coming back. So I'm going to turn it over and I'm also going to ink the back side. You can use, uh, colored cardstock if you'd like if you don't want to ink your your flowers up all righty now that all of our flowers are inked we can now put them together so the next thing you're going to need is an electric drill or a battery operated drill you are also going to need a quilling tool and later on you'll be needing some liquid glass. So um, you want to make sure you want to be able to change the width of where you put your drill bit in. So I'm just going to I'm, I'm going to use my, the thicker part of my um, my quilling tool and you just make sure it's opened enough for your quilling tool to go in. and then you tighten it up. Make sure that it, it's in the bottom, that it's touching the bottom, and then, and then you just close it up again. So then you have your quilling tool here, and what you're gonna do, the, the outer part of the flower in first, because this is gonna be basically the inside, and I just wanna see which way this is going. Okay, so it's going that way, and I want it to go the opposite way. So, yeah, okay. So make sure you know which direction your drill is going in. And then I'm just going to... Do that all around. And then I'm going to hold on to this, and I'm going to do the liquid glass and then you want to open up the flower slowly 
let it open until you get it the way you want it all the time pushing it down into the liquid glass so that it will grab and then you just put it aside to dry and that is how easy it is to make flowers instead of killing your hands using the quilling tool you just use a drill isn't that cool that's our tip for today And that's Checking Tuesday. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below. But clearly, I'm not at Haleakala anymore. We are now picking some beautiful flowers in this garden in Vermont. Um, and we are doing a farm-to-table thing tonight. So we hope you enjoyed our video. We'll see you next Tuesday.